Welcome to Cricket News. Today we shall discuss uh, briefly the history of India and New Zealand, the history of Test cricket between India and New Zealand. This was a significant Test match. So uh, this was Kapil Dev's last Test match. But uh, apart from that, earlier until then, until this point, the Indians could see even on cable television only Test matches. that were played in asia so indians could see matches in india pakistan or sri lanka but not outside that was this was the first test match first test match hosted outside asia that was telecast back in india so this was the first time actually the indians indian fans sitting in india got to see india playing in a test match and even playing in a test match outside the outside asia so in that sense it was a historic test match it was a, a, a it was a series played on surfaces that were essentially green barely distinguishable from the outfield so it was uh, seamers dominated the series so much that vetori played both test matches but did, did not get to bowl a single ball India lost both test matches but they were in positions where they could have uh, won both let's see apart from Rahul Dravid um, in in the first test at Wellington apart from two 50s Dravid got a 50 and Tendulkar got a 50 apart from that uh, there was not a single individual score in excess of 20 the uh, India scored 161 and 121 and uh, in the second test match India uh, were bowled out for 99 on the morning on the on the basically india were bowled out for 99 and they bowled out new zealand for 94 so on this essentially this was the first time in the history of test cricket that both first innings ended both first innings were all out and ended for two digit scores and uh, during this test match so india were uh, after it rained india were bowled out for 99 on a morning on the third on the second on the third morning and then in new zealand were bowled out for 94 and then india were bowled out on the same day on 154 and then new zealand batted for 15 more overs so essentially uh i think for the second time in history all four team all four innings some part of all four innings were played on the same day in a test match India won a test series on New Zealand soil after for the first time in 75 76 but New Ze- but India uh, prepared very well for this so uh, essentially just ahead of the series India were India played a limited overs series so the limited overs specialists got a ca- got practice but there was almost no gap between that and the test matches so how to provide practice to the Test specialists. There were six of them, including Dravid and Lakshman. So what happened was, the BCCI arranged for six cricketers, including Dravid and Lakshman, to play in the Plunkett Shield, New Zealand's domestic cricket, New Zealand's domestic tournament. So they played for, uh, they played for various. They were split uh, between the sides, and they played for various sides, and they got the practice. And we know India won the first Test match. and in the second test match um, india were put under pressure put under pressure but gambhir saved the test match with an 11 hour innings 11 hour, he batted 11 hours for 137 so he saved the test match harbhajan singh famously scored 200 uh, this was also williamson's debut series williamson scored 100 on debut as we know 2012 uh, uh the, it was it was it was another uh, what do you say um it was the start of an era the way we know it uh, the the current era we can say because this was the fir- just uh, it was the start of the year 2012 india had come back after a defeat in australia so tendulkar uh, hey, uh, tendulkar was still there in the last legs of his career but dravid announced retirement and just ahead of this test match lakshman also announced retirement 
so essentially with tendulkar at 4 uh, there were no uh, dravid and lakshman at 3 and 5 it was instead pujara and kohli so since tendulkar's retirement kohli has moved up to 4 but pujara and kohli replaced dravid and lakshman in this series that uh, they still continue india came back having lost the series 1 nil india could have won the series 2 nil so essentially in the first test match uh, india needed to bat uh, about about four sessions but uh, india need a, but india could have india were actually india actually could have done that but they chose to go for the target of 407 it was a steep target uh and india finished day 4 on 222 for 2 uh most fans thought that india might have pulled it might have might pull it up chasing 407 they were 222 for 2 but in the end they were bowled up bowled out for 366 it was one of india's finest chase chases a target of uh, fourth innings total of 366 would have won them most matches anyway in the second test match as we know uh new zealand were new uh half way new zealand were following on and then they were 94 for 5 in the second innings half way through day 3 half the test match remember remain they needed another 152 to make india back again but then uh, as we know brendan mccallum and bj watling batted for 123 overs they added 352 runs and after watling fell mccallum added another 159 with nisham nisham was making his debut uh, mccallum scored the first triple hundred in the history of uh, new zealand cricket this was also the second triple hundred in the third innings of a test match in in the history of test cricket 